Welcome to Lad Reviews, I'm Marcus J. Richardson, and today we are talking about Better Call Saul, the spin-off from Breaking Bad, also written by Vince Gilligan and following Walter White's attorney, Saul Goodman, or as he's called in this, Jimmy McGill. What are you talking about? I'm telling them about Breaking Bad and that. What, people haven't seen Breaking Bad? Well, if people haven't seen Breaking Bad, then even better, dickhead. Anyway, yeah, so if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, then actually, this is kind of like a prequel, so although it's a spin-off, it happens before the world of Breaking Bad takes place. So in Breaking Bad, Walter White's attorney is called Saul Goodman, and Saul Goodman, he's changed his name, because in Better Call Saul, you discover that he's called Jimmy McGill. You just said that 30 seconds ago, you're now just repeating yourself. Yeah, because you interrupted, and you're doing it again. It doesn't just give you an insight into Saul Goodman and what he was up to, but you also get an insight into Gustavo Frings and Los Polos Hermanos and what the Salamancas were up to. Remember, people might not have seen Breaking Bad. I know! Most people have, the most of you have though, haven't you? So, you know, the Salamancas, you know, the guy in the wheelchair, the ding, 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 ding. Find out what he's up to. It's brilliant. You get an insight into where, where all of that has come from and how that originated. Mike, the bodyguard for Walter White as well, he's also in it quite prominently. So it's a great little extension of Breaking Bad if you do need a fix for that. But not only that, I actually think it's a great standalone series. Now, we're up to season four. The first three seasons, you discover what Saul Goodman, Jimmy McGill, obviously if you are again, if you've seen Breaking Bad, you'll know what his character's like as a person. He's a bit shifty. And we find out why he's shifty and why he's the way he is. His relationship with his partner, his brother, the main law firm that he used to work from. And it's all very high jinx, you know, lots of drama. But it, essentially, it's always very funny. I can relate to Saul Goodman an awful lot. He's a guy who just wants to get by in the world. He's working hard. He's trying his best. Has to do a few little dodgy dealings here and there to get by. Disclaimer, I don't do anything dodgy, ever. I don't do dodge. No, but you look proper dodgy with that haircut. It's also your haircut, so... Touche! Or should I say, toupee? I'm not wearing a toupee. Yeah, should though. You know, these bits. Stick some fur on there, some cotton wool or something. What you, what you doing to a man? Jesus. This season, season four, we do get to see a lot more about how Jimmy McGill makes that transition into Saul Goodman. And, you know, I, we are very much catching up with Breaking Bad. I would say there's probably one more season to go before we're pretty much on a level with where Breaking Bad begins. Or there may be a slight crossover at some point. Are your fingers scissoring each other? Crossover, innit? Crossover. Okay, I'm actually gonna go now. Bye. See you later then. Anyway, four stars. It isn't quite as good as Breaking Bad, but it's not far off. It's essential viewing if you do like Breaking Bad or if you're thinking about watching Breaking Bad, do go and do Better Call Saul first. Bob Odenkirk deserves a special mention. Fantastic performance throughout from him. Vince Gilligan, again, great writing and some good directing throughout. Go and watch this. Bit of a recommendation from me. I did thoroughly enjoy it and I would recommend it to you if you're a bit of a couple and you're looking for something to watch of an evening. I think Better Call Saul is a good place to start. Until next time, I'll see you soon. I've been Marcus J. Richardson. Please.